Coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. Upon the completion of road improvement works in the community of Venus, the Parliamentary Representative for Ancillary Canaries, Honorable Dominic Fede, conducted a site visit to view the completed work as well as to engage the residents and motorists on the plan for a comprehensive road rehabilitation and several slope stabilization projects in the community. The Minister notes that public transportation in the area has resumed and expressed gratitude to the residents for their patience prior to commencing work. The Venice to Ancillary Link Road will be soon constructed under the Disaster Vulnerability Reduction Program DVRP, which is financed by the World Bank. The Parliamentary Representative for Ancillary Canaries, Honorable Dominic Fede, opened the latest addition to St. Lucia's Tourism Product in Ancillary. The newly established Glittering Sands Beach Park, located at Trulager, is owned and operated by St. Lucians and employs some 20 plus persons from the constituency of Ancillary Canaries. The beach park welcomed the first group of over 50 cruise ship guests for a fantastic day in paradise. Honorable Dominic Fede expressed gratitude to the investors for having confidence in the project. This facility provides water spots, food and beverages, a souvenir shop, storage facilities, washrooms and an outdoor spa. The Glittering Sands Beach Park was officially opened on Thursday, October 15, 2019. The Feast of La Marguerite, one of the two rival floral cultural festivals of St. Lucia, is celebrated annually on October 17. This year, the festival organized by the Cultural Development Foundation consisted of an ecumenical service in La Clairie and the Gua Fete in Mon Repo. All members of the society dressed in the attire of their respective roles and marched to the Mon Repo Catholic Church. The service was followed by a parade through the streets before returning to the Mon Repo Combined School for their feasting. Senior Business Development and Marketing Officer with the Cultural Development Foundation expressed contentment with the turnout at the festival. The Guafet consisted of eight groups in total. The La Marguerite Festival forms part of the calendar of activities for Creole Heritage Month. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.